The mayor, Jacob Mafume, literally explodes in frustration at a full council meeting, and it's all because of persistent issues with the IT department. Let's break it down. So, here's the scoop. The big clash happened at Townhouse, the heart of Harare's municipal operations. Mayor Mafume, visibly agitated, didn't hold back as he tore into the IT manager, William Mugobogobo. And guess what? The main bone of contention is the snail-paced implementation of an enterprise resource planning, or ERP system. This system, crucial for automating the council's functions, has been stuck in limbo for four years. Now picture this. The mayor is publicly calling out the IT department for being the worst. He's frustrated because, get this, they can't even provide basic IT services like internet and email. And in today's world, that's pretty much unacceptable, right? But here's where it gets intense. He accuses Mugobogobo of not returning his calls, blasting him for sitting on a project that's critical for the city. In a moment of high drama, Mafum demands action within 24 hours. Yes, you heard that right. He's not just upset, he's demanding immediate results. And Mugobogobo? Well, he seemed pretty lost during this exchange. When asked about the ERP instructions, he's like, the instructions for, talk about being on different pages. And there's more. This isn't just about a malfunctioning IT department. It's much bigger. The delay in the ERP system has had a ripple effect, leading to financial vulnerabilities. Just two months ago, 23 staff members from the finance department were suspended because of issues flagged by auditors, pointing to potential financial leakages. What does all this mean for Harare and its residents? Mayor Mafum has put a timeline in place, demanding normalization of operations within 50 days. It's a tall order, given the current state of affairs, but it shows his commitment to turning things around. So, what's next for Harare? Will the IT department rise to the challenge, or will these issues continue to plague the council's operations? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, this isn't just a local government squabble. It's a reflection of broader challenges in governance and accountability, issues that resonate far beyond the borders of Zimbabwe. Stick around for more updates on this developing story and remember, whether it's halfway across the world or right in your backyard, the impact of governance affects us all. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from Zim News Live YTS.